angry and confused. That's how many local students are feeling after learning their vocational college abruptly closed its doors. That frustration being felt nationwide. Heritage Institute shut down all 10 campuses across the country. The school said it simply doesn't have the cash to stay open. The Jacksonville location sits on Salisbury Road in the South Point neighborhood. Channel 4's Ashley Harding spoke with students shocked to find the school closed and a piece of paper on the door listing other for-profit schools in the area. Throughout the morning, we watched as students gathered outside Heritage Institute, dressed in scrubs, ready to learn. Instead, they were stopped in their tracks. Heritage does not have the cash to continue run, to run its business. A surprise none of them saw coming. No warning. We're eight months from graduating. And they're just cutting it all they're off. They're like they're not right. helping us find a new place to go to with a similar program. The news is devastating for Christine Herzog. She would have graduated in March. Every day, Monday through Friday, waking up early, coming here, sacrificing job opportunities just to get my education. And now I feel like all my hard work has just been for waste. Students now left with questions. All they have is a flyer listing the names of similar schools in Jacksonville. No information on how to pick up where they left off. And no one from administration there to offer guidance. They will show up. The only sign of life here is Elizabeth Jamrog, working behind the counter at her cafe inside the building. Elizabeth, when did you find out? Just this morning. Every day, Jamrog prepared meals for students and staff. The future of her business now in question. It will impact us directly. I don't know the long-term effects, but it's um, shocking, saddening news. Sad and disheartening. All these students can do now is wait for answers. I've spoke to one professor and you know, she says that even though this wasn't her fault, that she feels responsible. So she wants to try to see what she can do to help us. I did call the corporate offices for Heritage Institute. No surprise, no one answered the phone and the recording indicated there was a full mailbox. Well, the school has said they want to hear from students to find out where to email. Check out our web story on newsforjax.com. I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.